Hello, welcome to part three of the demo video series on protecting data on PowerMax arrays with Data Manager. In this demo, we will restore data from backups to the original storage group, restore data from backups to an alternate storage group on the same or different PowerMax array. To perform a restore to the original storage group from backups on the data domain appliance, select the asset and click restore. Select the copy, then click Next. On the Location tab, select Restore to Original. Before performing the restore, let's delete the data on the original volumes that are mapped to the Windows host. Change the disks to offline mode. In vCenter, remove the device from the application host. In Unisphere, remove the masking view for this storage group. Back in the Data Manager UI, click Next. Set the stream count for the restore as needed and click Next. Review the summary and click Restore. We can monitor the job's progress from the Protection Jobs page. The restore job is now successful and we can examine the details and step log. Let's navigate to Unisphere to create a masking view for the storage group with the ESXi host. The masking view is successful. Navigate to vCenter, select the ESXi host, and rescan the storage. Based on each device's worldwide name, find and attach the respective volumes to the ESXi host. When that's complete, we navigate to the Windows application host and add the volumes as RDM disks. And there, we bring the disks online. We see the data is now restored on both drives. This confirms that the restore to the original location from the backup is successful. As a prerequisite, before restoring data to an alternate storage group, the alternate storage group must be discovered in Data Manager. So for this demo, I've created a new storage group named TME Storage Group Restore ahead of time. The number and size of volumes must be equal to or greater than the number of volumes on the source asset at the time of the backup. Back in Data Manager UI, let's perform the restore. Navigate to Restore, then Assets. Select PowerMax Block. Select the asset and click Restore. Select the copy, then click Next. On the Location tab, select Restore to Alternate. After selecting Restore to Alternate, a table of eligible storage groups appear. Only storage groups with the status of Available are valid candidates for a restore. Here the storage group that I created is listed as Available. Select the storage group and click Next. Set the stream count for the restore and click Next. Review the summary and click Restore. We can monitor the job's progress from the Protection Jobs page.
The restore job is now successful and we can examine the details and step log. Let's navigate to Unisphere to create a masking view for the storage group with the ESXi host. The masking view is successful. Navigate to vCenter, select the ESXi host, and perform a rescan of the storage. Using the worldwide name of each volume, find and attach the respective volumes to the ESXi host. Now we can navigate to the Windows application host and add the restored volumes as RDM disks. When we go to the Windows hosts, we see the disks. And we bring the disks online. The data is now available on the disks, confirming that the restore to the alternate location from the backup is successful. For more details about what we've covered here, see the technical white paper, Dell PowerProtect Data Manager, Protecting Data on Dell PowerMax Arrays, and refer to PowerProtect Data Manager Storage Array User Guide. Thanks for watching.